Well, I, I saw a number of things, you know, that, uh, you know, we need a lot of work on. Um, you know, number one, I think, you know, we got to do a better job of uh, responding to adversity. I don't think we did a, a real good job of that. Uh, and I'm talking about myself as well as the players, you know, and, you know, it's college football. Guys go down, the next guy got to step up and play. That's what we train them to do. Uh, that's what we plan to do, to have kids ready. And we didn't handle that well. And then we, uh, we started some series in the second half uh, down our end of the field and couldn't get anything put together. And, uh, you know, we, we just have to do a better job of, of understanding, uh, you know, collectively that, uh, you know, you have to be able to overcome adversity during the game. And uh, I, I didn't think we, we did that very well. Oh, I think those, those younger receivers respect them and, and, and you know, they like them and uh, they feel like, you know, they've learned from him. He's a key part of our offense. But, hey, other you know, when somebody gets hurt, somebody got to step up. Injuries are a part of college football, and we have to be able to do that. So there's no excuses. I don't accept any, and I don't give any. Uh, you got to get it done. I think, number one, the, the first thing is, is that, uh, there were opportunities to get the ball off, but we've got to keep the quarterback protected and in the pocket. So that disrupted some things because uh, late in the game, we, we didn't pass protect as well as we should have. Um, second half, we didn't run the ball as well as we should have. Um, you know, once again, you know, things happen. Hey, that's, you know, uh, this is college football. Next guy step up, let's go, you know, and... Uh, um, you know, and, and, and also, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm not without uh, fault here too. You know, I got to coach better. He responded really well. He responded really well. He's uh, he's he's going to be a phenomenal player in this program. He's smart. He's mature beyond his years. He takes coaching really well. He's a he's a detail guy. For a freshman, he pays attention to the details. That's remarkable. Certainly, certainly, uh, we we need them to be a big part of our offense. Uh, and they will be, uh, you know, the, I like to think that, you know, the first game of the year, we learned a little bit about our offense, about our personnel, about how we do things. And uh, w we need to learn from that. And uh, we will. We will. We have to be able to deal with adversity better. We have to be able to deal with uh, things that are beyond our control. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, this is how life works, just like football. You got lemons, you make lemonade. Not everything's going to go your way. You have to overcome it. It's not what happens to you. It's how you react to it. I don't think we reacted very well to it. And I think, uh, as I mentioned a little bit ago, it's my responsibility to get them to do that. And I've taken steps to do it. I will continue throughout the week to take steps to get these young men to be able to overcome adversity because this is part of college football. And we're not going to make – we don't make excuses. You get beat, you get beat, and that's it. You know, you get ready, you learn from that experience, and you move on to the next one. You know, football's about the next play. The next play is the most important play. What happened a minute ago, what happened two days ago, it's history. We can't change it. But we can control how we go from here on out, and that's what I've told the kids. Oh, just a typical, well-coached K-State team. You know, they play their gaps well. They're very disciplined. They play very hard. Uh, they've got good schemes. They do what their kids can do. Uh, they don't ask their players on defense to do something that's beyond their ability. And that's been their, that's been their trademark for a long, long time there.